here with Digger's Passion, coming to you live from the Bradenton, Sarasota area. Out here on my Hobie kayak, and I uh, haven't seen you all in a while. I know I do mostly digging videos. I want to start getting into the fishing videos because I've been catching a lot of snook and a lot of reds and some jacks and some pompano and snagging some rays, all kinds of goodies. Anyways, out here, uh, I got the van stall out. Don't know if you can see that. Got it paired up on a star, star rod, extra heavy. Uh, doing a little shark fishing. I got a live bait on the other end of it. And uh, just wanted to say hi to you guys. Um, here's the kayak. Like I said, Hobie kayak. It's got the Mirage Drive so you can kick paddle in. It's got the upgraded seat, uh, cup holders, all kinds of goodies. Um, sorry about the hand in the way. Anyways, uh, I come out here a lot and do pretty good on the sharks. Throw little baits over, you catch little baby sharks. However, I do see sharks. My kayak's 12 foot 9 where they're every bit as big as my kayak, if not bigger. Um, and I'm out here. I don't know if you can see that, but way off in the distance, right there is the Skyway Bridge. Way out there and over there, if you can see that dome, that's the Tropicana Field Dome. Um, and I come out here because there's lots of variety of fish. Um, tarpon come through here. There's grouper out here. There's all kinds of good stuff out here. And uh, some people think I'm nuts trying to do the shark business off my kayak, but I don't have a boat. Um, and I do do it offshore a lot. And uh, catching them on the kayak's fun. I, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I landed, or excuse me, I didn't land. I hooked into a spinner shark, I would say easily five foot, maybe six foot. Hit that rig that I just showed you right there. He was jumping out of the water everywhere of eight to 10 feet, maybe even 12 feet high, just jumping like a lunatic. Pissed off, he knew he was hooked. Um, I'd say I had him on for 15, 20 minutes and the hook finally gave, came out. Um, he didn't cut the line or anything because I got the whole rig back. So I'm trying again today. Uh, it's very overcast. There's been some thunderstorms. I've seen some shark already swimming under the kayak. They've all, all been real small little black tips, maybe two, three, four footers. Uh, they come in. They come in schools, and when you get one around, there's generally two or three or four, maybe even five, and they'll start circling the kayak waiting for a handout because I have a stringer with bait hanging off the side, and they smell that bait. And I've had them follow me for up to a mile to two miles all the way back to the car before. Because once they see that stringer, I mean, they don't leave you alone until they get they get a handout. They're on the Obama plan. If they don't get something free, then, you know, they're upset and they riot and, uh, you know, kill other fish. They get all pissed off. Anyways, that's a joke, guys. Um, so, yeah, you know, j just here's a little video. This is what I do when I'm not up north digging. Uh, I go up there and pull a lot of relics out of the ground, and that's my other fun hobby. You know, people... I meet a lot of a lot of uh, families down here that live in Florida, and um, they've moved down here just to get away from the cold. Most of the time, that's what you hear and this and that. However, our supermarket down here is Publix, and the way these people live is they have their home, and then they go to Publix like a triangle. So follow me here. They get their home, and then they go down to the left bottom, which is Publix. Okay, and then they swing over to the right. So remember, we're doing a triangle here. And uh, they go to work. And then they swing from that bottom right all the way back up to the top point of the triangle. And that's it. That's all they do. And in the middle, there's no life. There's no fun. There's nothing exhilarating. They don't fish. They don't, you know, race cars. They don't do anything. And then when you're out fishing and they see you pulling a big shark, they ask the stupidest questions. Oh my gosh, there's a shark here? Yeah, we live in Florida. We're on the Gulf Coast. There's shark everywhere. Even if you go into back bays where the houses live with the little boats and everything, there's bull sharks back there, there's lemon sharks back there. There's sharks everywhere. But, um, you know, you gotta. Ha the reason why I'm bringing this up is you gotta have something to do. You gotta have a hobby. You gotta have something in life that's exhilarating. You don't wanna be in the hospital or a hospice or a caretaker watching you when you're 80, if you make it that long, or if you're older than that or younger than that, you know, just lying around and they say, what'd you do in life? Well, I walked the beach and picked up shells or I shoveled snow. But what did you do? Um, I had a barbecue once. No, come on, what did you do? Well, that's about it. People, get out there and do something. Sorry, I'm chewing dip. Good old redneck. You know, when I'm up in Virginia, I go out in the woods and I dig relics. I meet other people. I get online. I drive up to New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, Tennessee, Carolinas, Georgia, everywhere. Dig relics. And when I'm not doing that, I'm down here in Florida, not catching little pinfish or, you know, just sitting on the, the dock and hoping to catch 
who knows, a little tilapia in the Everglades or something like that, something boring. You know, get out and catch some big game fish, do something, have fun. But anyways, I know everyone doesn't have the means of doing that, but if you do have the means to do it, please get out and do it. Enjoy life. Life's short. I'm just sitting here on my kayak right now waiting for a shark to hit this bait. And I'm just, I'm just thinking, wow, you know, what a blessing it is to be out here. You know, even though I'm doing something just completely moronic off of a kayak, I can land this shark. I can bring it up to the island up there, get the kayak out of the water, pull the shark out of the water, get pictures with it, and put it back. And go home and sit in front of the TV and think, to hell with what's on. I lived today. I actually lived. I was in Mother Nature. I had God's good grace on my side. I believe in the Lord. And, uh, you know, I just I got to enjoy life, you know. But uh, anyways, guys, I will be back up north. I will be digging some relics soon. I miss pulling them old bullets and plates out of the ground and campsite stuff. Uh, all kinds of goodies. Buttons and knives and forks. and Man, we dig some good stuff up there. So anyways, I'm going to give a shout out to Heath Jones at Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors. If you need a metal detector or if you're thinking about getting a metal detector, you can either get a hold of me or contact Heath Jones. Look him up on Facebook. If you can't find his phone number, please send me a PM. I will get you in contact with him. Heath Jones, before the sale and after the sale, will continue to help you. If you have any questions, he's there for you. He's not going to try pushing you into a most expensive detector if you don't need it. Um, he'll, he'll figure out what kind of hunting you're doing, and he'll suit you to your need. Uh, also, Joe, Cannonball Joe, miss you up there. I think you're in South Carolina. You're always traveling around. I don't know where you're at right now. Probably in... Hell if I know, Dubai or something. Um, to my wife, love you. To Dennis Cox, to Brett Katz, Brad Epstein, all my good friends up there, Joe Till, and everybody, Barbara Connell, just uh, just all you folks that are always online, uh, you know, just talking, hanging out, having a good time. I miss you all, and I'll be back up soon. Anyways, Leo with Digger's Passion, just out here trying to catch a shark. Wish me luck. See ya.